Tulips have finally arrived in the Netherlands and of course we just had to explore them on bicycles. Luckily we just got a new e-bike, the Himiwe A7 Pro. Today we'll unbox the e-bike and give you our first impressions. This is the Himiwe A7 Pro and let's unbox this. God. I think you should have just pushed it, what you were doing. Yeah. I think this is the best packaging I've ever seen yeah. for an e-bike. So, so it goes like this. Two hours later. <laughs> I'm done <laughs> assembling the bike and now it's really time to turn this on. The display looks really nice. So let's turn this on. Wow. Finally, it was time for my first drive on the e-bike, but someone else was more eager to try it out. Well, I got the privilege to use it for the first time. Adi has been constructing it all morning. I'm sorry, Adi. I'm just so excited. Don't go too fast, Mira. Yeah, can we go? But I think you have to change the speed later one to Yeah, we'll just assist. see how it goes. Oh, so nice. Oh, it's also a really nice seat. Woo! I have him now on one. Let's put it on two. Whoa, Jesus. <laughs> now, super quick. Oh, let's test the brakes. Oh, it's really good. I hate it when brakes of the bikes are bad, but this one's are good, I feel it. Nice, let's attack Adi. Woohoo, let's test the brakes. Oh, it's nice, it's yeah. really good, yeah. Yes, if a bike doesn't have good brakes, we'll simply send it back, especially with electric bikes that go fast. Luckily, the Himiwe A7 Pro has front and rear Shimano hydraulic disc brakes. They don't make any sound and feel super reliable. And I think the biggest concern what we had was because we are 5.11. Yeah. And we have tried some bikes in the past and they didn't look, they didn't look even. The, the height is always an issue with these bikes, but this one is, now I think you can see it. I think you should put, <laughs> put the seat a little uh, bit it lower. It has to be even lower, yeah. So I don't know why none of the bikes that do this thing you can just bring the seat up and down like this. Just hold this lever. Like all the time you have to do it from here, then tighten it up. So I can just go on this height because why not? And I'll go in my Dutch pantofel. Yeah. So let's go. This is happiness, guys. When you have a nice e-bike. Whoa. And what are we going to do tomorrow, Mira? We're going for a tulip tour. We're going for a tulip tour, a really long, long tulip tour so we can see how this beast performs. So tonight we're gonna charge because of course it's not gonna be fully charged when it comes with the package. Let's test it out tomorrow. Oh. Can I drive? Because I have to talk a little bit of specs about this bike to you. So maybe it's a good idea that I can drive and then you can ride around the tulips. We have a long way to go, so it's good. Mira can go on the old bike, what we have. <laughs> I am on a pedal assist one and we have a long way to go. So let's see how long the battery can survive. And the battery has a really good capacity. The Himiwe A7 Pro has a 720 watt hour battery. With a single charge, you can drive up to 80 kilometers. Do you need to charge it? Just detach it from the bike and you can charge it anywhere. Now let's talk about the motor. What a beast. It is equipped with a 250 watt mid-drive motor and it has five levels of pedal assist. A pedal assist electric bike is the perfect choice if you want to feel like you're riding a normal bike with a little extra boost. Already in level one, the pedal assist level one, it just feels so smooth and so nice. As we have had some bikes in the past that you do a little bit of pedal assist and it just goes zoom. So yeah, it's really well balanced and that already says a lot about the quality of this bike. Now we are going through this beautiful forest. It's proper gravel road and the tires are just performing so good. And we are just cruising at about 22 to 23 kilometers per hour. Of course, it's limited to 25. Ooh, some fly. Of course, it's limited to 25 for Europe, for Netherlands. 
Now me, it's Mira's turn. It's my turn to test this beast out. That's how Adi always says it. <laughs> Let's go. Ooh. It's really amazing, this bike. It goes really smooth. Kijk, <laughs> you see, it's like a bungee car. What if it breaks with your weight? No. You can actually put 150 kilos on this bike. 150 kilos of a human. That's reasonable. <laughs> That's like more than two of us. Yeah. And the screen, it's like really, uh, you barely see it. So I think like for theft wise, that's pretty good. Yes, the display almost disappears in the frame. Super minimal, but bright enough to see your speed in a bright sunny day. The wind is always crazy in the Netherlands. And that's why I, cycling here in the Netherlands is always so, oh, so tough. But with these electric bikes, it's just, you just have your eyes, but for the rest, it goes so smooth. Oh, it's amazing. That's the best thing of electric bikes. It beats the wind. So you're tearing up, enjoying the beauty yeah. of tulips <laughs> with the beautiful electric yeah. bikes. So Should we go a bit closer? Yeah, I think we can go there. Yeah. Adi will tell you later a bit more about the specs, but what I can tell you is the design of this bike. Look at it, it's so pretty. We got this beautiful bright yellow bike, but they have many more beautiful colors, which you can see on their websites. And something else really nice is this rack with really strong straps, so you can really actually transport something on the back of this bike. You can actually carry up to 25 kilos on the bike rack. So that means you can bring all your camping gear, groceries, or even a child. And it has a lock. Super handy in the Netherlands. And a lot of bikes, surprisingly, doesn't come with a lock. Then you have to buy that again. But this one has a really, really good one, I must say. I do recommend putting another lock if you're living in the Netherlands. Especially with a bike of yellow color. Yeah, it's a bit too bright maybe, but now it's like where we live, it's completely fine. And we are also riding on this dirt road, that tractor road, and the bike is just going super smooth. So it's so much fun that it's powerful, it can just go on any terrain. It's just so chill to have something like this that you're not really worried about anything. Ready? So the ultimate test, it's on four, so it will just shoof away, right? I hope so. Whoa! Adi, watch out! <laughs> Woo -hoo! And there she goes, you see how fast it goes. It's the first time we are riding a bicycle with front and back suspension. And believe us, it's pretty amazing. No road is too crazy. Mira is always afraid of riding on roads like this. So well, did you feel safe on this bike? With this bike, I'm not afraid. Sometimes the wheels are just slippery, but these wheels, have you shown them? Look at that. This thick. It's really thick. The tires are pretty cool and tough, perfect for a stable ride. In a few hours, this giant powerful beast turned into a tulip queen. We got this beautiful tulips from the farmer who is growing all these tulips. We are actually on her land right now. But anyways, we had an amazing day with Himiwe A7 Pro and we cannot recommend this enough. Until now, all the aspects of this bike, whether safety wise, the design, the power, everything has just surpassed our expectation. So if you wanna check out the Himibay A7 Pro, click the link in the description to get more information about this powerful beast. And we'll see you in the next one. So Mira is obsessed with the bike design. I love it. Everywhere we go, she's taking photos. <laughs> <laughs>